Hey, Mark, here's a question for you. Yes. Is House of the Dragon the best show on TV at the minute? No. <laughs> I only no. say because, because I love Andor. For me, oh, Andor okay, is okay. my super. But I... So I've got to say, right, uh, I loved, I loved uh, Game of Thrones. I know the ending was a little bit divisive and, you know, okay, okay you know, it didn't quite it's end well. I, I haven't read the books, so I've got... The only, I'm only, I've only got the TV show to go off. I don't know why I wasn't that bothered about watching this, but a couple of weeks ago I got COVID, I was sofa bound, and I thought, oh, go on, we'll give it a go, and I'm totally in now. <laughs> so, so I'm actually really into it. I really enjoy his uh, Paddy, Mc, no, not, uh, uh, Paddy Constantine. Paddy Con- or Paddy Constantine, as I keep calling him. Paddy Constantine, so there, there's a crossover. I like him. I like the story. Mm-hmm. I like where it's going. I like where the young actors are playing these young women. Uh, Matt Smith in the trailers, so I was like, I'm not going to like this. But actually, I'm surprised at how good Matt Smith is. I do feel like, you know, we, in fact, I'm, so I saw my sister in law yesterday and she's just watching Game of Thrones now. And we were talking about how even the first couple of episodes of Game of Thrones was was really quite shocking and dark and gruesome, possibly. Yeah, a little big, bit... it had big twists and things like that. And yeah. You just thought, whoa, I can't believe they're doing that in a TV show. Exactly. I'm not getting that off this. Now, I... I no, I, no I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it has the massive twists. Not quite, so much twists, but it's not shocking. I mean, there is one mm. scene where they're hunting a stag, aren't they? Uh, mm. And it's kind of held just there so the king can sort of stab it and that was quite quite bad but do you think they've toned it down a little for more so it's like a 50 i don't know what rating it was i would imagine the first game of thrones was an 18 rated i imagine this is a 15 or even a 12 over here at the minute there, there are some uh, there's, there's i think it's probably matters. stronger than a 12 yeah i mean, I mean this i still feel as if like it's almost like part of the deal is you've got to have scenes in brothels and you've got to have... <laughs> some nudity, the, yeah. Some head being split open by a weapon. So there's some of these things, but it's almost like the story it's telling... Dropping a few C-bombs here and there. Is, um, isn't to do with that because the scale of it is so much smaller, isn't it? Because with Game of Thrones, you've got this whole continent, people yeah. on the other, side of the, con- over the other side of the sea. Yep. Yeah all these characters it's juggling to, to keep track of all the time and you couldn't remember the characters and things like that very well and um, I'm, it must have been really difficult to read the book I would have thought oh, yeah. I'm terrible at keeping track of characters with oh, no. visual images <laughs> no. in my mind whereas this it's it's just all the power play like, the, like a house of cards sort of things like people doing a bit of who's going to be stabbing who in the back and who's where an allegiance is being formed, where Rob, allegiance I'm sorry, is being broken. In, Rob, I'm sorry, let me, let me interrupt the you there a second. You, you're making mm. me laugh doing that. Do you ever get, put not put off as such, but you sort of like take a deep breath when you open a book and you've got a map, mm. in, a map in the front and sometimes you even get a glossary of the characters. I read a... And you think, oh no. I read a, I think it's an Alistair Reynolds book. I think it's Alistair Reynolds or... One of, the, one of the big sort of sci-fi writers and you open his book up there and there's a list of, there's like a, an overview of about 40 characters and I'm like oh man <laughs> so you think you're going uh, yeah obviously we read books about um, history books about Roman empires and Caligula oh, and stuff yeah. like this and all the names are all so similar they're just all blending <laughs> together and then you do research they all look the same anyway because obviously you, I don't know what they really look like do you know well, are they going to do other houses series later on or is he going to find is, out um, how this goes first it's because George R. R. Martin did a sort of a in a style I think it's written more in a sort of a style like like it's a non-fiction book though obviously it is fiction yeah and these events were told from different points of view and sometimes are contradictory and that's quite a clever idea oh, okay. so, actually, this, so something like the court jester's accounts of what went on so did somebody really sleep with someone? Well, that was what the gossip was. But did it, did it really oh, happen? I yeah. don't know. And and that fits in beautifully, doesn't it, with that stuff about the sort of English history of kings and queens? And well, exactly. Yeah, someone's accused of you know Henry VIII accuses his wife of you know doing something, and it's like, well, did she do it or not? Is it just one thing? I uh, so, so that sort of thing's interesting. Where it's sort of it's like an exaggerated version of 
you know, what actually has gone on in history. And I was watching these and thinking, did people really have marriages within their own family like this? Not even cousins, but brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles. And did they really have 13-year-old brides? And it's shockingly how common it was in oh, Europe. Yeah, very much so. I've read about that as well. Do you know what I have enjoyed is that we're straight into the dragon. There's, there's dragons there. There's not yeah. hundreds of them. And I'm like, oh, okay, Matt Smith's dragon's got a really long neck. Yeah, and this one's got a big there. tail. And, and yeah, it's it's the matter of the day, isn't it? What, um, what I do I'm, like... I'm guessing they're all going to be kicking off and fighting each other in some big dragony wars at some point in the got future. Got to be, got to be. I quite, yeah, I do like the in, inter-house fighting as well. So like so-and-so's sister has married so-and-so and then they're pissed off so they're going to marry off to someone else yeah like, like like the guy who runs all the ships he goes off and buddies up with matt smith what i do like is matt smith i, I, I quick one in matt i can't remember his name i'm afraid but his character he's just a git isn't he and he's pushing and pushing at paddy considine all the time and he's just like he comes to the wedding doesn't he and he just he's constantly on the edge of pushing him over and just you know don't you know you know if you've ever sort of said to the kids or or, or when or rather when sam jackson says in in the pulp fiction say what again you know, you know because matt smith is just pushing the envelope all the time to get power or allegiance yeah what do you think well, of the it, uh, what do you think of the giant chair by the way Oh, with all the extra swords? Everywhere, yeah. I mean, can you imagine mm. sitting in that? If that was me, I'd, I'd have slipped my own wrist by now because I'd have accidentally sat <laughs> sat down and cut it. Very good, though. Very, very good. Yeah, I think um, I, I sort of overtook my son watching this, and there was a couple of scenes where when I, was, I said, oh, what do you think of the you know the, UF, the latest episodes you watch? He's like, I don't, I don't see the point of, you know, X, Y, Z, such and such, such a character had a meeting with so-and-so. I'm not quite sure what, what the points are, where it's going. And it was really interesting him pointing saying these things because I was saying, actually, not next episode, but the episode after that, there's a payoff to the reason why they yeah. had that scene. Yeah. And seeing that, every, every scene is there for reasons. It's, it's all adding to the individual characters or it's all adding to the relationship if, between characters. Yes. And it, it's all there for a reason. It's all and building, nobody... building to the more, the more having a huge fallout, basically, aren't they? There's a guy, isn't there... With he's like a, he's like a younger guy, but he's got like a walking stick because I think he's got either a, a broken leg or a bad leg, and he speaks to the the uh, king's daughter. God, I can't remember anyone's names now. Uh, oh yeah, he's a bit of a stirrer, isn't he? Yeah, and he's saying things, and he also says it to the queen, the, the, the queen regent uh, or queen consort. He he says things without actually saying in plain words and, and even it they've even said tell me in plain language what you mean start and even he says no no I, I wouldn't say that and you think yeah what's not being said it's lots and lot like you say it's lots of implication and lots of just twisting the narrative one way to another if you know what i mean and again there's lots of there's also like marriages of convenience isn't there mm. where you and you've got different like there's one bit where one of one of the i think it's again it's the queen it's the queen consort she catches her son doing something in the early morning i don't know if you've seen that episode he's being a bit rude standing out on the parapet first thing in the morning and she's like you you could be king one day you've got to be careful what you're doing everything you do affects our house and it is at the minute in the time sort of stroppy teenager type you know they're a bit sort of grumpy, a bit a bit spoilt, and you think, how's this going to play out down the line? Yeah, because yeah, it builds and builds up to episode six, and then you've got this big time jump where with episode seven, all of a sudden, they've changed some of these characters that you've just really enjoyed seeing for the last six they episodes. They were great actors. The young, the young women were really, really good actors. But, and there's a part of me that just feels like, oh, this is a real shame, actually. I want to stay with those characters. But... It is the same character. You're, the idea, oh, I miss that character. No, you, this is where they are now. And with the, linking it to Matt Smith, it's that same feeling, isn't it? With, with David Tennant turns into Matt Smith, and you yeah. just go, oh, <laughs> yeah. I want David Tennant back. Then after a little bit, you just accept. You just kind of like, yeah, fine. Just accept this is the way it is now. What do you think forward. of the uh, the Crab King? I really, I'm really liking this kind of this enemy. 
Well, that, that's, that, that's another example of something where my son was like, is he like the big bad of the series or something? He was asking me, and obviously I knew what happened to him. Um, you know, so what, what's the point? If he's not going to be the big bad of the series, what's the point of him? But even that, you know, there's a point of him, isn't there? Because it's showing Matt Smith's character, um, whose name is uh, Damon, by the Damon, way, Damon Targaryen. It. Yeah. So, so it's showing you Damon's going off and saying, you know, up yours to his brother. I'll, I'll, I'll go off and fight this myself. Then yeah. I'm going to go and sort this out. And now he's so angry when he, his brother actually says, "I'll come and help you." And he starts beating up that messenger because he's just so cross about this idea of like, "I'm not having you coming in and showing, looking like you saved me." No way. I'd rather risk myself dying and. So that conflict is all adding to the extra animosity between him and his brother, and it's it's done really well. I don't think it. I don't feel like it's it's going out of its way to be explicit or gory on purpose. Which I felt those early seasons of Games of Thrones felt like it's trying to be shocking on purpose. Yeah, you know, with yeah. people crushing people's heads and stuff. It's not trying to have big shocking twists at the end of each episode. I just think. I think the writing and the acting is really good quality. The production value is top notch. Very good, isn't it? And that first episode, I just felt like, okay, um, not bad so far. I just felt like that first episode, just you, you, you know, you writers just show me all these different characters and who's who, and then I was slowly getting drawn drawn into it. So by that episode with the deer, is that episode three or four when they go on the hunt? Yeah, I think yeah, and one one of those. Yeah, yeah. At that point, there was that point with that episode I really felt like it's got me now this this, this show's I was exactly I'm, I'm the same I, th- I say I was, in, yeah. I was in my sort of Covid haze and I'm like oh it's like you know well I, admittedly it was only like 7 in the evening but I'm like I need to go to bed I'm so ill and then I was like oh but I'll just watch the next episode because <laughs> it's it makes all it Rob here's something I don't know I don't know if you've read the books I haven't in Game of Thrones Khaleesi she was fireproof are, mm. are these Targaryens fireproof because of their connection with the dragons? We haven't seen that yet, have we? I don't know. And I, don't, I know, I know the, the story of the House of Dragon is out there, so you can kind of spoil it for yourself if you want to. Okay. Um, I won't but I'm, try, I'm trying. I know a little bit. I already knew a little bit about this storyline and what kind. You know, the overview of what kind of happens anyway. So I kind of I've got a bit of a gist oh, okay. of what's, well, I, where it's I, I going for know, the second yeah. season, but I'm kind of trying to keep away from it really and just think, yeah, uh, don't, uh, yeah, just in, enjoy it for an episode at, at a time really. But that, yeah, that question I don't I don't know, maybe not sure. Because our last episode we were talking Lord uh, not, uh, Rings of Power, Lord of Rings, Rings of Power. This is like a nice, it's like it's like the darker version, isn't it? I'm liking the fantasy. I, I like a good fantasy show. Def- yeah, we've got two, rings of we've got two, family, isn't it? Two big fantasy shows on TV. I know. Who'd have thought it? Yeah. But you know, your, your rings of power is definitely fa- definitely your family type viewing. This is definitely for you know what fifteen year olds. <laughs> well, I watch uh, I watch I watch rings of power with my daughter. <laughs> yeah. I watch, yeah. I watch my fifteen year old daughter likes Lord of the Rings, Ring of Power. My eighteen year old son likes House of Dragon. Yep. My wife doesn't like either of them. Uh, so it, yeah, it, it is really clear there. Seeing the diff- I mean, not just the age difference or the gender difference, but the tastes are very different in my children as well. So um, Rings of Power, even though she's not a Lord of the Rings fan, and she can barely remember anything that happens in the Lord of the Rings films. She, th- she thinks she's seen bits yeah. of it when it's been on telly, but she doesn't really know the story. She's re- enjoying Rings of Power, and my son doesn't know. You know, enjoyed Game of Thrones, but he doesn't. He hasn't read the books. He doesn't know what's going to happen with these characters or anything like. That. He's watching it just because it's the big show that's on at the minute but Fair enough, he's yeah. loving it as well it's, re- it's really won him over would you agree that in in say in uh, House of the Dragon everything feels like there's an air of doom or menace or, or it, even so anyone goes and sees the king like, like there's the thing isn't there where the, the, it's Reese fans we haven't mentioned him yet he was great as the king's hand wasn't he and it, yeah, and, it, and part of me, part of me dislikes him for trying to twist things for his own family's benefit by get like when he, you know, sends his daughter to try and comfort yeah, the king, and you're just creepy, thinking, "Oh, you it? weasel!" <laughs> but then actually, but then you can almost, but you could kind of also see it the other way and just think, "Well, is he that much of a weasel, or, or not? You know, what's wrong with what he's done?" I, do I think, think that's the interesting that's, thing. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, Goodies and baddies that everything just seems gray, shades of grey. Yeah, and and I also think. Yeah, you know, every conversation anyone asks me, Matt Smith, for example, 
you, you, you want, I, I find myself, you feel like I'm on a knife edge. Is he going to kick off? Is he going to kill the messenger? Is he going to say nothing and walk away? And then the dragon's going to kill him? You know, all of these things that, yeah, there is that air of who's going to betray who, who's going to, who's, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's a thing, isn't there, about the, the, the main princess. She's got several different kids by different guys, hasn't she? And she's married, she's married to a, a, a young gay bloke from another house and they've both mm. got their respective lovers, haven't they? Which is kind of hidden, but also plain the obvious to anyone who can see. So it's very, it's, it is very good. As I say, I think I'm one episode behind at the minute, so I'm looking forward to this week's episode. So I'll get, I'll get a chance to sit down and watch two actually. So that, that'll be good fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah. Is it the best thing on TV at the minute for me? I think it. I think it just kind of pips the post. I think it is the best thing on TV at the minute. Good, good for you. No, I'm, I'm afraid it's Andor for me because I'm super into that extra. But this is up there. Again, I always say, eh, eh, when we talk about any of these things, do I want to watch another episode? Yes. You know, that, 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 that's all you can want, isn't there? You know, mm. I'm ready to watch it. That's cool then, Rob. I'm not looking forward to it. What are we on? We're on sort of season, episode six, seven. How many are there in this season? Do you know? Uh, maybe eight, I think. Ooh, no, so we're, oh, you are right. You know, we're going to be having nothing to watch. Uh, no, eleven. Maybe. Oh, Hang on. Let's oh, have good. A look. oh, good. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> good. That's okay. It weeks. ends in uh, episode ten. That's okay. So we got we got a few more weeks left yet. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have nothing to talk about soon, aren't we? Radio, radio, <laughs> wrapping up there, folks. Send us uh, your, your comments, please, if you would. We have been watching podcast at gmail.com. Over on Twitter, it's at whbw podcast. Drop it. If you're listening on YouTube, drop some comments below. Let us know what you think of this. Do you like it more than Game of Thrones? Do you like it more than The Rings of Power? Do you like it more than Andor that I keep banging on about? Over on other socials, you can find us. We have been watching podcasts. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.